define for us what conscious parenting is. I think that would give us the framework to really dive in. Well, consciousness, you know, first needs to be understood as a commit to unearthing the emotional and conditioned legacies of your mind. So we've all inherit so much baggage, you know, from culture and from unconscious parents and their ancestors. And as a result, we grow into these legacies without ever questioning, how do they work for me? You know, who am I in all of this? And what is my truth in all of this? So we live off prescriptive checklists and believe that if we don't follow that checklist, then we are somehow lesser than. And when we do this with a child who's come into this world with a throbbing spirit, desirous of kind of figuring it out, and we've kind of already ruined that chance by, you know, here's the checklist. This is what I believe is success and failure and beauty and achievement. And now follow my way or you're already an outcast in my eyes. So the process of consciousness in parenting mandates that the parent not hand over that prescription and in order for the parent to not hand that over means that they have had to come to let go that prescription themselves they've had to somehow deconstruct their own emotional legacies and find their own truth so that they can then unleash it in their child when did you start thinking about the fact that this is really a, a problem aimed at the parents that it's a cycle that it's literally just generation after generation it's being passed down what was that moment yeah, it was uh, quite epiphanic because I did not want to see this. You know, this is not a convenient truth <laughs> to tell the parent that they have to fix themselves. I mean, the last thing a parent, because we're very defensive and we always believe we're right. And this is our one chance to show the world that this we got it right. You know, we're good enough.